Uh, sorry about that. That'll that'll, that'll be uh, hit the off button. <clears throat> this will be part two. The teaser of Penticton Art Gallery. With the important stuff beyond part one. It's the number three on the bucket list. This is the artist's um, photographic biography of his addiction with the evil caffeine. <laughs> Nasty drug. I actually used to drink it a lot, but I have one of them brain injuries, you know, the base mandibula. Kind of turned caffeine into a toxic goo to me. Makes me very, very sleepy. Depending on if I'm in an intricate cascade or not. There you go, add a little cereal appeal to INI's edutainments. Then connect it with some of the others, or do that, you know, like to think deep. Every now and then, you reset your brains. And Randall Evans. I don't know, your parents are still trying to figure out where to put your art, so I don't know, get some thought, man. Are set up in England. I'm sure you're about overdue for a holiday, and I don't know how much longer I can stay in the I've got, uh, I've got to go work on number one on the bucket list. If I can't find a suitable person to take the idea and steal it from me and pretend it was theirs, time to join the Americas, Americas, and preempt the global Zionist scams. Those Asians that immigrated there 8,000 years ago have just been totally messed up for the last three, 400 years by the Caucasians, and that's no good. That's got to be amended just like the earlier Asian immigrants to North America, what, what are wrongly called the ab aboriginals. Okay, here's. This is for you, Enema Black <laughs> Blackberry. <laughs> I don't know if this is an artist. So. Right, well, I guess that's a male name. Intimate art. <laughs> but, but anyhow, I don't know what to use to model this monster on. What are these ones? <laughs> Buckle time. <laughs> I think that's pretty clever. And I don't know the age or the sex of these artists or anything, so I'm sure I'm sure they all have something from the internet. If you're interested in their bio. <laughs> okay, that's enough of this before Framing <clears throat> Spring Fever takes me away because I got a sauna to go to. Authentic and cool. Okay, and this one's for you. Rose above the herd. You tet. <laughs> I don't know, she reminds me of your avatar. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've guessed you right on. Are, are you <clears throat> Sergeant Sue of the RCMP? 
Just a guess. Not, not, not to meddle with your career. I'll just tell you that the reason why identity confusion messes me up so far, or again, that's brain injury, right? Where I lost my very weak facial recognition skills, which are not a big thing in my design. In fact, now we're kind of probably bred to not have that. Should we have to be <clears throat> unfrozen and incubated and brought up to repair and then what? You spend the rest of your existence alone to um, <clears throat> infringe on Doc Atomic's boring story? Really? I'm not talking to myself. <laughs> I am, but you know, if you carry a camera, you can get away with it. <laughs> what do you mean I'm crazy on making a movie? <laughs> well, I don't know. They've measured my brain every which way, and they say I'm not, so. I'm just very eccentric and creatively expressive. So we'll catch you all later, eh? Um, you want to join in? I don't care, Canadian citizen, or you just want to come here or what? That's my number three on the bucket list. And what we do, <clears throat> what we do here, to take up all that Hollywood South business that's defunct and never was viable if it wasn't for the money laundering operations, criminal, um, never would have existed, but. Yeah, we can take it from there and do the sky cast. Hey, I'm telling you guys, once you can't ship three out of gold, with what you guys know, you sure as the hell can ship data and then, you know, manifest it here and there's your profit. Get star tracking or go extinct, you silly subjugated fools. I and I out.